Today on The Occult Detective, we're going to talk about Sheila Criar, Psychic Detective. I first learned of Sheila Criar through the Weiser book of Occult Detectives, edited by Judica Illis. The Eyes of Doom was uh, a part of that wonderful collection, and if you're looking for a great introduction to the occult detective genre, you will not find a better book than the one that Judica put together. I'll be giving away a copy of this once I reach 500 subscribers. So spread the word and uh, we'll uh, hopefully get there sooner than later. As I said, it's it's a terrific book. Now... I need to give proper credit to Roy at Roy Reads Anything, who posted a video recently extolling the virtues of the Sheila Criar stories and really got me interested, and uh, that led me to the book that I'll be talking about today. These are delightful stories. First of all, predominantly takes place in Scotland, which, you know, I adore. Um, these stories originally appeared in Blue Book Magazine, largely forgotten, um, and, and more's the pity. I mean, Ellis Grimsour is just a wonderful storyteller. His stories are evocative. They're, they're very of the time period. You know, we're talking uh, 1920s. Um, but the, the character of Sheila Criar is really interesting. I like the way she is presented. She's very thoughtful, um, and very, very studious, very, very passionate. And she just has this... You know, she, she's she's an orphan girl who uh, lives with her uncle, and then when he passes, discovers that her estate is in Hawk, and she has to fend for herself in the world. And she's young and really unsuited for going out into the world and and working a traditional job, uh, especially you know we're talking you know, 1920, uh, Britain. So, uh, to fend off, uh, the people that want to take her home, uh, she rents her place out to a rich American. He goes and tries to find gainful employment. When that doesn't work out, she puts out an ad proclaiming herself to be a psychic detective. Despite her youth, she's quite good at her job. She's very, uh, very good at, at, at figuring out. She is the, the quintessential occult detective. She comes into the situation, you know, people are fearful and in need of help. She comes in, assesses the situation, and finds a solution. Um, it just, they're just really well thought out. I wish there were more. Um, there's only like six stories that were written. Um, you know, Scrimsour is kind of a cipher. Um, uh, some people, you know, on the internet did some great research and, and tracked her down. She was an actress and um, she wrote a few novels. But, but these stories just really, really stand out. Really good. This edition that was purchased for me uh, by my son and wife for Father's Day, I'm really thankful to have these. These are stories that I will revisit for sure. Um, I just, I just love the language, the narrative sense. Um, and yeah, she's a really, really talented author. Uh, I'll give you a little taste. 
Sheila moved towards the door, but the eyes surrounded her. She tried to dodge them, tried to get away from them, but it was impossible. She was as keenly guarded as if by living bodies. Then she grew really frightened, terrified. Her brain seemed to go numb, her teeth chattered, and she cried aloud in her agony of dread. The eyes grew fiercer and more cruel. They seemed to menace her. With a cry, she threw herself at the bodiless terrors, and all became dark. Robert E. Howard, she is not. But, it still is evocative and really draws you in. She paints a vivid picture and she understands the pacing necessary to generate a sense of dread in a story. And uh, that's, that's, a, that's a true talent. Again, I recommend highly The Adventures of Sheila Criar, Psychic Detective. If you enjoy a good occult detective tale, they don't get much better than this.